Hey everybody, welcome to the Art of Comics. I just came back from the movie The Joker. Just walked in the door and let's talk about it, okay? So this episode's a little different. We're gonna just review this movie. Let me just start out and say straight up, this movie's phenomenal. Boom. You gotta go see this movie. Just no spoilers right here in the beginning. It's great. Um, Joaquin Phoenix is wonderful. Physical transformation, his mannerisms, physicality, the laugh. He does a brilliant Joker laugh. Um, there's just so many things that he does in this film that is just top notch acting. Just brilliant. It is artistically shot it's beautiful to look at. Uh, it gives me a little bit of a European feel in the way it's shot, uh, the way things are framed out. Just brilliant, brilliant. Loved the film, the beauty of it. The story is, um, the story is uh, the birth of the Joker, as we would say, you know, the 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 death of Arthur Fleck. Uh, it is the story is about an insane man who is struggling with all these things in life, not getting what he wants, having all these problems, and just kind of going through his psychosis and schizophrenia and paranoia, and. Um, and all that mixed up. That is kind of the essence of the story. You know, the plot is about, you know, Arthur. So let's just say it's great, it's wonderful, you gotta go see the Joker, okay? Um, one of the things the director said, which actually kind of broke my heart, was this movie could not have been told unless it was kind of encased as a superhero movie. So they couldn't have just made this movie about an insane guy, he's going through these things, and here's the stories, and here's the elements. They had to make it a superhero movie to tell this. That sucks, and I'm the comic book guy, right? And I love comics, but it sucks that the director felt that because of the current movie climate, it's gotta be a damn Kate movie, for for a studio to green light it. That's just painful, just as in just an artist and as a creative person, that just sucks. But this film works really well in the kind of, you know, DC Comics world. Um, I can see totally this movie just not being the Joker and just being about a crazy guy, and I think it would be brilliant. Having it be the Joker is a little more fun just because, you know, we know this character, we have history with it, and so there's those kind of elements, which is like, oh, this is cool, it's in Gotham, it's Thomas Wayne, all that stuff. Um, that said, it's so good. You just gotta go see it. I'm gonna go to spoilers right now, because let's just get into it. Doodle -doo, doodle -doo, doodle -doo. Spoilers. Okay, spoilers. Um... I could not figure out the whole girlfriend thing, and I was like, why does he have this beautiful girl that's with him and supporting him? And I'm like, why would he have that? Why is that part of the story? I don't get it, it's not. So when that turn, and we see that that's all in his mind, that totally made sense. I'm like, finally, good, because I was having issues with that. The other little red herring about him being a Wayne potentially and Thomas being his father was great too and I'm like what the freak are they doing this so I don't care if the movie is not in continuity that makes this could be an Elseworlds it could be whatever uh, I don't care about that that didn't bother me um, I thought it was brilliant man it's just so good uh, I love the ending um, I think they could have just ended it with him on the police car in front of the crowd. They, I don't think they needed to do the the insane asylum. I don't, but you know it's fine. Um, it was this birth, you know. Here's his minions. What, what's great about this is is that 
this is kind of a reality Joker. He's not a criminal mastermind. He doesn't have these thugs. He doesn't have these these grand uh, ideas of chaos or of you know getting rich or stealing from the poor, the rich or none of that stuff. He's just a guy struggling in his life, struggling to feel validated, to feel loved, to feel some sort of appreciation. And on top of that, the whole you know mentally you know deranged aspect right which is a whole thing i can't even you know grasp what that would be like to have these like these negative things coming at you and feeling you know when we when we learn that he's abused by his mother uh that was a great moment you know the whole time i'm thinking okay what is the thing what is the fulcrum what is the moment that tips the scales that makes him become the joker and i'm like okay is it losing the job is it getting beat up is it getting beat up again? Is it killing the three guys? You know, what is the moment? And it probably would be killing his mom, which was kind of the last, like, you know, tether to reality, to his kind of normalcy. Once he killed the mom, I think that then now we're in full Joker mode, which took a while. It actually was a long time to go. It wasn't too long, though. I enjoyed it. Yes. Despite the beauty of this film, of course I want to see more. Of course I want to see him, like, would he be a mastermind? With this power of people behind him, would that be tempting and how would he do that? But I just don't think this Joker would. And I kind of feel like by the time he got out of the insane asylum, it would, I don't know if he would have a following necessarily, you know? So... I don't think this, this movie's about that. I don't think a second movie would work, really, to be honest. I think it's gotta stay this way. I think if you were to do a second movie where he now is kind of more of a Heath Ledger type Joker, I don't. I think it wouldn't work. I think it would feel so different. Um, man, the acting's good. The story is great. Um, some of the stand-up stuff. I didn't care, actually, for Robert De Niro. I thought he was fine. Clearly, it's like a Johnny Carson deal. Um, I just didn't feel so much for him. That last, those last scenes where he's there on the, the we'll call it the Tonight Show, but the Murray Wilkinson or whatever, Murray something uh, show, and he just finds out and kills him. You know, that whole scene reminds me a lot of Dark Knight Returns, where in Dark Knight Returns, Joker is there at a at a talk show and he's kind of like talking about things. At that time though, he was being rehabilitated. I think he was with his doctor and they were showing off that the Joker's been re rehabilitated. So um, this is different than that. But it did remind me of, okay, we've seen the Joker in that moment. I thought it was brilliant, man. It was, that was a great scene. When he killed Murray was great. Uh, and, and I didn't want to root for him. The movie does, kind of gets you to think about rooting for him, and I didn't want to, because I don't like when movies do that and make the villain too sympathetic. And this Joker is very sympathetic. And um, I'm not sure how I feel about that, to be honest. But I, I will, I'd be lying if I, didn't, if I said that there weren't moments when I wanted to see him do more, right? And get, you know, and be the joker you know just killing people you know and that's that's bad on me but you know after he kills murray and you're kind of thinking like oh is he just now he's like gonna start killing people but he really doesn't he's not a mass murderer he's that's not who this character is it's very different um again it's very real it's really grounded it really doesn't even need to be the joker movie it could be just a crazy guy who wanted to be a stand-up comedian you know um I loved it, man. Great movie. There you go. Under 10 minutes. What do you think? I want to know what you think about the movie. That's what I think of it. Go check it out. Let me know. Bye down.